So uh, our show's called Job Talk One, and something happened over the weekend. Look, let me put my headset on. Do I need my headset? No, I don't need my headset. Maybe I'll take it off. Maybe I'll put it on. So something happened over the weekend. I, obviously, I'm a football fan. I, can you guess what school I support? The O's. No, no. The Ducks. The Ducks. The Oregon Ducks. <laughs> God, Tommy. Tommy Karens. I'm the coach. You can go to CoachTunic.com. So I was a 49er fan. I still am. But I may not be a 49er fan by the end of the week. I'm a big Chip Kelly fan. Chip Kelly turned Oregon around. So Chip Kelly is the head football coach at uh, the San Francisco 49ers. Beautiful stadium. And uh, their third string or second string quarterback by the name of Colin Kaepernick decided that he was not going to stand for the national anthem that he was going to protest because of the oppression, in his opinion, of uh, minorities and blacks in the United States of America. So the reason I'm bringing it up and live on Facebook, and thank you for watching, don't point. My wife said, Ellen, my beautiful wife Ellen said, don't point. Uh, but Donald Trump does this. I'm not doing that either. So the issue for me, I have, I have several issues. First of all, I love America. I love the flag, and I understand. And I would, I would fight for his protest. I would defend his right to protest. My issue is, first of all, he's on the job. Nobody's talking about this. The 49ers are employing Cabernet, Colin Cabernet. He's being employed. He's an employee of the 49ers. He has a job to do. Can you imagine how many of us? If we decided to protest anything on our jobs, how long would that job last? Nobody's talking about that. Tom Cairns, right here, my partner, was uh, the HR Director of Homeland Security. He had 230,000 people report to him, and he got fired. You, get, you got fired, didn't you? Well, uh, resigned, yes. You resigned? Well, he was under the Bush administration when our President Obama came in. But he kept you for a while. He did, six months. Yeah. Prior to that, my partner was the HR director for NBC, 18 years. So he knows a little bit about what goes on on the job. So, Tommy, let me ask you a question. How many employers would put up with an employee that is going to protest while he's on the job? But, well, as uh, talk to the camera. One of one of the as this is probably no time to say I'm on a witness protection program, right? No. Okay. The uh, the aspect uh, that I that is interesting is that employees have certain amount of protected activity and things that they're allowed to do and they're protected to do, but protesting uh, is a trick is a tricky element, and so you could look at this particular uh, example and the stadium is his place of employment uh, and so you have to look and say well are there standards or are there rules that the employer has established that this employee is uh, violating and uh, as we have seen the NFL is saying no there were, there's nothing that said you needed to stand uh, so we're really looking at aspects of of, of things that I would say will probably come to light at some aspect uh, is whether or not his activities uh, reflect poorly on his team, on the NFL, and other other pieces. And right now, individuals are focusing on the aspect of what he was protesting. Disrespecting, in my opinion, he was dis disrespecting the flag. And, and I just have to say this, that the flag represents the greatest country in the history of civilization. The, the, the flag resents millions of men and women, blacks, Asians, every color under the skin, that has given their life for this country. Every country has political issues. Every country has issues uh, in their population. We do too. We've got a lot of issues. Was that the appropriate place to, uh, to protest? Now, I say no because in a team environment, Half, half the people on the team probably have relatives in the service. Half the people on the team uh, have people, well, that's not even the point. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to go to the military. But I want to go for, for this, that this red, white, and blue flag represents so much more than oppression. It, it represents the opportunity. And next week, we're going to have Robert Ferguson on, who is an African-American gentleman. Uh, who served as a Marine, and he has a very interesting take on it. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give it away till next week. 
But my my own uh, personal, uh, I'm a veteran. I had two flags that uh, were in my office at Homeland Security. There you go. One was the Homeland Security flag, and the other was the American flag. And so, on a, on a personal level, it resonates with me differently uh, as well. And, and in fact, the things that are being discussed today are not even what. Uh, he was protesting. The, what's being discussed is the element of how and what he did, which takes away from even the aspect in my mind of what that protest is over. So the the focus is is on him, uh, which isn't really where. Uh, okay, where it okay. Be. so it, it, he used poor judgment. Did he have the right uh, to do what he did? Of course. So I go. T- you know, you and I are about the same age. Uh, we grew up every single time I went to uh, elementary school or junior high school or high school, we stood up and saluted the flag. Mm-hmm. And we said the Pledge of Allegiance of the United States of America. Our teachers back in the 60s and the 70s, I'll even say the 50s, I'm not going to admit that I went to school in the 50s, but I know for a fact that in the 50s, 60s, 70s, teachers talked about patriotism. Teachers talked about the love of this country. I don't think that's going on anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't. I don't think the educational system supports the flag or our country, and I think they should. I, I think the Pledge of Allegiance to this country should be in every classroom every single day of the week. I think every class should start with the respect of what this flag stands for. Yes or no? Yes, no, I agree. I, I think there are, there are certain symbols and things that represent who we are as a country that uh, regardless maybe of how uh, you may disagree with some of the things that are occurring in the country are not, in my mind, the appropriate uh, venue uh, to demonstrate you know, your, your uh, displeasure or, or your disagreement with things that are happening or your uh, desire for change. Uh, and I think uh, this, this in my mind, do you, do you remember, and probably most of our listening audience, uh, if they're millennials, don't, is uh, Roseanne Barr uh, singing the national anthem at the Padres game. I do. About 26 years ago. Uh, and, and as a comedian, there was an aspect of whether or not she was trying to be comedic or, or whether, but nobody left that as being something she should have fooled around with and and i think that's it's uh, sacred one of the exactly pieces, the, you know? the flag is sacred the pro- pledge allegiance of sacred but let me just finish this known tommy karen's tommy karen's i'm the coach coach ron tunic tommy karen's here on the show we call it job talk one it's a great show it's the only show in america talking about jobs talking about careers how to how to get a better job the only one live on facebook the only one live on facebook today let me let me end with this thought that Colin Kaepernick could have done so much more for his race, for his people, for his issues, for his protests, by being positive. You know, the old adage that you get more... Bees with honey. Yeah, Mm -hmm. more bees with honey. Uh, LeBron James, I love love the king. Uh, Him and and Dwayne Wade and a couple other guys, they're trying to do what they can do. You're, You're going to have more influence with young people by being a role model than creating all the duress that he's created for himself. And he's liable to get fired. He's liable to get fired. Not for what he protested because he's just a crappy quarterback. Colin Kaepernick is a crappy quarterback. And the 49ers better wake up to this fact, but now they're kind of between a rock and a hard spot. Mm -hmm. If they fire him, they're going to get accused of racism or something along those lines. He's a crappy quarterback. Get rid of him. It'll be interesting if they do fire him, if anybody's going to hire him. Anyway, that's enough on that subject. Both Tommy and I love this country. We will continue to salute the flag, and it's interesting. Let's see what happens this weekend with the NFL. Let's see what happens with the public. All right, so we're live on Facebook. Our show is brought to you by one of the best realtors in Southern California. You can see that? Cindy Lazinski. I'm telling you what, if she lists your house, you're going to sell it. And she sells homes fast. It's amazing how fast she sells homes. Also, we have so many sponsors. Southern Cal, uh, Southern Cal Phone Company put in uh, our cameras. So they do sur- surveillance cameras. I think today, 
it's unfortunate. I think everybody should have cameras. Uh, they put in cameras and phone systems, surveillance. Also in Southern California, Bonefish Grill. I love eating there. Uh, if you like fish, like the co you like fish, don't you? I do. We both like the Bonefish Grill. We, we certainly did. We, we do. And of course, pools by Ben. If you own a swimming, it's 109 here. And if you've got a swimming pool, anyway, pools by Ben, they're the best. Trust me. We've had a lot of pool companies over the years. Nobody's better than pools by Ben. And then the best of the best, Lisa's tax service. Uh, she has so many uh, of our listeners that she does business with, and she can represent you in front of the IRS. So now let's talk about something else that's got me angst up today on Job Talk One. Go to JobTalkOne.com, check out our site. We're improving our site. It's a fairly new site. In a month from now, it's going to look a lot better than it does now. JobTalk1.com. Apple owes $14 billion, with a B, $14 billion to uh, Great Britain. To Ireland. To Ireland. Well, uh, I think well, doesn't Great Britain collect the money though? No, because Ireland uh, does. Ireland is separate from the UK, yeah. But it, it's the U E U that actually uh, said Ireland, uh, Apple, you owe Ireland 14.8. Oh, okay, so here, my angst is they went there because they thought they were going to pay lower taxes. They went there because uh, the Irish who I love speak English. Uh, they went there and took thousands of jobs away from our country. Why did they do that? They, they did it for a number of different reasons, and uh, I, I spent... Uh, five months living in Ireland and taught over there and have been back and forth and I'm also probably full disclosure Irish descent so uh, uh, the Irish uh, have uh, if you want to have a footprint in Europe uh, Ireland is a is a good country to be if you are a, a multinational uh, company and so Apple wanted to have a presence and Ireland was a, an, an, uh, an or a uh, country that uh, their uh, policies their tax codes helped believe it or not and this you might laugh at is that the weather or as we say the weather in uh, Ireland was also attractive to a high-tech company that it's somewhat moderate in Cork and Cork is a beautiful area so I think they went there to uh, again establish a footprint in in Europe a base there there were tax reasons that would be helpful not all their businesses there but there is there are advantages for them to be there clearly and and taxes were obviously so now uh the show's called job talk one can i lift that up there job talk one that's tommy karen's on the coach coach ron tunic glad to have you aboard we're live we're pioneering radio here this is one of the great radio stations in the country do you see it khts khts uh oh my producer just went crazy i lifted up my microphone khts here in southern california santa clarita if you're watching from around the country it's 109 here it's just hot beautiful downtown Newtown. So uh, what's going to happen? Uh, the, now they have, now if they don't pay the $14 billion, they're probably going to have a problem. They're, yeah, they're, well, and, and like most things, they're going to sue. They're going to fight it. Uh, it is interesting because a lot that's being talked about is also Brexit, uh, that here you have the EU dictating to another country. There you go. Uh, and, and also, let's, let's face it, from an economic standpoint, the United States uh, is, is maybe a little bit different than some other countries, but you, you need to have uh, an economy that's global. And so uh, actually about 25% of the Irish economy uh, is by international companies that's uh, that are there. Pharmaceuticals are there. Uh, besides the the high tech environment, finance is there. So there's a uh, a large uh, you know number of different industries that are represented. But I, I if you're going to do business in the global environment, uh, we either we have to also create more incentives here in the United States uh, because I I don't disagree. I think uh, we need to have as many jobs as as we can uh, possibly here because obviously we're job talk one. Uh, so that should be one of the things well, that we're and I, as well. I, we don't do politics and and I don't I don't have a uh, dog in this hunt uh, but somehow we've got to get reestablishing manufacturing jobs somehow we have to keep the jobs at home these big international corporations uh, are avoiding our high tax. Uh, the the tax for these corporations are running somewhere between 35 and 40 percent. They go over to Ireland and they're paying what half of that or even less than that. Yeah, I, I was actually they're paying less than one percent, which was 
crazy for me to hear because normally so it's about, less than one percent that drives their profits up that drives their stock prices up look if there's any politicians watching the show you better not be watching the show you better be there representing us but if you're a politician at home watching the show get off your butt mr politician or miss politician or mrs politician get off your butt let's find a way to bring manufacturing back let's find a way to lower taxes so that we encourage our national corporations our home-based corporations to do business in the united states do you want this whole economy to wind up being a service economy because if if, if we're going in that direction look out for the prices of real estate look look out for how people are going to survive uh and you know we have here's another issue as we continue to uh again this is a non-political show right yes but if we continue to allow all these refugees in what's going to happen aren't are they not going to be stealing jobs from us uh, I- immigration is a huge issue uh, as we've seen uh, here in the u.s but you also have that also occurring in uh, Europe uh, as well. So, uh, it, yeah, I mean, it's it's a very very open thing. borders drive down incomes. If you have more people than you have jobs, what happens? What happens? Salaries go down. People haven't gotten raises in years. Why why would you give an employee a raise if if you've got five people behind this employee that'll take the job at the same salary? So immigration is an issue. I just got the two minute. We're going to take a break. We're going to take a break in two minutes. Thank you for being patient and hanging in. If, if you like what we're doing, tell me. If, if you like, we'll do it live again. Uh, we're going to be live every day here pretty soon, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. So uh, if you're on Facebook, thank you for watching. The show is called Job Talk One. This guy right here, Tom Karens, is maybe one of the top guys in the country when it comes to understanding a workforce, HR stuff. He was the HR director for Homeland Security, NBC Studios for 18 years. I'm just the handsome one. I'm the pretty face. So Justin, can you say goodbye to everybody on Facebook? Bye, everybody. We'll see you real soon. If you like what we're doing, let me know. God bless you all, and God bless the United States of America. And if you get a chance to say the Pledge of Allegiance, do it. Bye-bye. The show brought to you by, oh, the show's called Job Talk One, brought to you by, well, Cindy Lazinski. I'm not kidding you when I say this, really. If you are thinking about listening to your house, Cindy Lazinski, L-E-S-I-N-S-K-I. Check her out on Facebook. I mean, she, you list it, she will sell it. She's unbelievable, and she'll get full price for you. She's just one of these lucky realtors. Uh, first of all, she's smart, does her homework, works her butt off. Also, our show brought to you by Southern California Phone Company. They put in my cameras in my home. They do cameras for a commercial. Every Look, today it's smart to have surveillance cameras. They also do those uh, voiceover IP phones which they also put in my office. Uh, A nice young Santa Cruz family that runs the company, Southern California Phone Company, uh, Dustin Drews, just a great guy, great guy. They're a craftsman. They do a great job. And, of course, Bonefish Grill. Tommy and I, we eat there all the time. And I'm telling you what, don't tell the owners, but their appetizers are really – Their food is That's what we order. We order the appetizers. Uh, They're so good, and uh, their drinks are good. Uh, Anyway, check them out if you have haven't had a great dinner lately go to bonefish grill pools by ben uh, i'm just going to tell you it's 109 out you don't have enough chlorine check it out if your pool company's not taking care of you pools by ben and of course our longtime sponsor i love her to death lisa's tax service all right so our show is job talk one i'm your co-host with tommy karens tommy was the hr director for homeland security uh, 230,000 people report to him also for 18 years he headed up nbc studios hr stuff so uh just a cheap plug for me i need a, a couple of sales reps i need a sales rep if you have somebody in sales uh preferably somebody that uh Somebody said to me the other day, well, do you care about age? No, I don't care about age. I uh, just wish they're a little experienced. And so they said seasoned. Yeah, I like seasoned. So um, 
I'll give you my cell phone, 805. Look, I don't mind giving it out of the air. The IRS has it. Everybody has it. 805-358-6090. 805-358-6090. 805-area-code-358-6090. If, if you have somebody that wants to get in sales, I've got a great opportunity for just one person, one person only in Santa Clarita. So, Tommy... Um, Jobs right now are depressed. Nobody's getting a raise. Uh, we just ended the little live thing on Facebook. So if you just tuned in, we did a live thing for 20 some odd minutes on Facebook. I'm Coach Ron Tunick. You can find me on Facebook, Tom Karen, C A I R N S, on Facebook. Also, our website, Job Talk One, if you want to see what we look like. So we've got to find a way. I, I'm really concerned, not so much about me or you. I'm concerned about our youth. Where is our youth going to get employed if they're not an IT person or somebody extremely handsome with a great personality like Justin? How are they going to get employed? Seriously, mm-hmm. are they going to be in service jobs? Well, that uh, that you know, what we were talking earlier about the return of manufacturing jobs. That uh, we've been moving more as a country towards service. We're consumers basically in the US so uh, producing products and other sorts of things we're, we're ones that l- like to consume so it, it is it is a challenge but since we were just talking about Apple being in Ireland and one of the the pieces for young people today is that uh, the passports go both ways so you can have an opportunity to uh, what I what I say is you know what in terms of uh, we live in California many many students that I have they don't view that they would ever want to move from California or Los Angeles. Why? No, I get that. Why? And, and, Why? And 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 I, I understand that aspect. But if you want to really consider uh, employment opportunities, you have to be broader in your thinking outside of California itself. And and Is really, it just the weather it, that it, keeps people here. Yeah. What, uh, what, well, what uh, keeps people? Because uh, other we, states. We should ask Justin that. We, no, uh, but other. Yeah, Justin, grab a microphone. <laughs> other states. I mean, there's more jobs. Seriously, Justin, if you move to uh, Texas, there's more job opportunities in Texas. Why are young, Why are young people staying here? Seriously. Well, number one is the weather. Yes. Okay. Number two is the you weather. Have the mountains. <laughs> you have the the beach. beaches. Yeah. You have everything you need. Lifestyle is what it you're is, saying. It is the California lifestyle that people love. Yeah. You have big cities, you have small towns, yeah, whatever feel you want. So, are you going to raise your family? Do you think you're going to stay in California? Uh, I don't you? know if I can afford to. There you go. There I'm, you go. I would love to try to. I'm going to try to as long as I can. Yeah. So that's another issue, Tom. Is our housing prices? If people aren't getting raises and we're stagnant, uh, people are going to leave the state. And guess what happens? Now we're going to have house, I think house prices uh, uh, might be at the same point where we were in 2008. How can they keep going higher if the employment numbers aren't there, uh, if, if productivity is not there, and if people aren't getting raises? Because our, our taxing system uh, and our cost of living affects everything we do. Mm-hmm. No, I, 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 I agree. And I think what I was uh, saying as well is that if you were willing to move outside California, well, you really need to explore the opportunities. And I think that uh, today we are too restrictive in terms of where we're looking for employment. I I would look globally. And uh, while we were talking about Ireland, uh, I actually had one of my students, uh, when you graduate college, for example, you can get a one-year visa to uh, Ireland and go live there to work. Uh, and seek employment opportunities. So, uh, there's. Uh, so what you need to do is just kind of look at other places and consider uh, whether or not your skill set, what kind of things, and obviously an international experience would be a phenomenal one as well. So, w- just don't limit where you go, where you're looking. As you know, as I'm going to support that because get the heck out of here. I mean, the freeways are impacted, the airports are impacted. Get your butt out of here. Go to Costa Unless Rica. Unless you're living in beautiful downtown Newtown. New Hall. Excuse New me. Hall. <laughs> New Town is another. You're listening uh, to the show called Job Talk One in New Hall, California, <laughs> KHTS, one of the great radio stations. I'm serious when I say this. Also, a great app. They have a great radio app. The app you is can phenomenal. L- phenomenal. It, uh, to me, it's one of the best media tech. apps. High tech media app. Go to the App Store and download KHTS AM 1220. Here's why I say it. 
they have traffic every 10 minutes in the morning every 10 in drive time starting at four o'clock in the afternoon uh maybe even three o'clock i don't know i've been getting the daily tips now does tori uh, do traffic uh, she's coming on here so she does traffic this is why you want the phone app i'm serious tune into khts you're going to get local news and traffic reports and khts has saved my butt tommy so many times uh because i have their app it's a great app uh all right uh we'll see you next week the show is called job talk one tommy karen's on the coach honored that you would take your time to listen we'll see you down the road